Sam, Jean Paul Sartre famously said, hell is other people. But I'm sure there's a variety of views on what hell is or isn't. I wonder if you might share some thoughts. Yeah, it's interesting that you use the word hell, because of course hell has, I think, tight and crystallised notions, where in actual fact, um, is hell, is it Hades, is it Tartarus, these other expressions of, you know, where you go, a geographical locale mm -hmm. of where you go once, you, mm -hmm. once you're dead, whether you're a flitless shade or an image of oneself, you're going to go somewhere. And so this notion of hell, I think, induces, and so let's play with that mm -hmm. even if we're really talking about Tartarus or Hades, hell um, suggests punishment. Mm -hmm. Now, for some in the hereafter, there's no punishment at all. There could be just simple blessedness. However, you know, we can actually see in various texts, you know, whether we look at the classics, and that's where I tend to be um, leaning towards, where we look at Homer, and there hell has a dimension, that if you sin in this life, there's going to be retribution for you in the next. But the other term about hell is the antithesis of that, and that is blessedness. And that there is a locale where we can go in the hereafter, where we can have a good life, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. But um, some um, people think it's actually feasting in the fields. Mm -hmm. So for me, that kind of um, gives a suggestion of corporeal presence. Mm -hmm. But the notion of hell and punishment, whether it's through um, stories about the eternal sinners or such like, actually can give models on how we live right. and, and lead a moral and good life. Now that moral and good life is obviously culturally defined um, as well, but it keeps us on our toes. If we think we're going to go down there in the pits of hell in Dante's Inferno, um, or going to be pecked away by carrion birds and our liver's going to replenish on a daily basis, like some of the eternal sinners, of course, that may put us off from committing sin um, or kind of what we perceive to be so sin. So do you think that's others? been one of the main functions of ideas of hell as a kind of um, moral oh, yeah. sex of controls? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, you know, I don't know whether to say set of controls, but yeah, I mean, certainly a deterrent, a, deterrent. Um, a, a cultural deterrent, mm -hmm. and that these stories, which are wonderful stories, I mean, certainly, <laughs> I shouldn't really say that, it sounds like I'm glorifying the macabre dead here, but, you know, these wonderful stories of these fanciful modals of punishment, mm -hmm. and as I say, you know, perhaps we can lead, uh, lean towards, not just Plato, actually, mm -hmm. to think mm -hmm. about, you know, unpleasant dead, mm -hmm. um, but also, so um, epic tales and um, stories that, with, uh, that are embedded within various religious traditions, I think here they're didactic. Do you think it's important to think of whatever happens in the afterlife as subjective, like me? Mm -hmm. Because there is a modern trend to think of objective immortality rather than subjective immortality. Actually, I think we we actually need to have our cake and eat it here, um, and you know there is yeah a bit of bird, cover our heads just in case. Um, but you know certainly there is uh, an, a collective response towards death, whether it's the marginalisation of it, for example, in our own society where we see um, you know the um, crematorium or the ceremonies of burial take place peripheral to the civic space. So there seems to be this collective marginalisation of yes. death, but also mm -hmm. a collective celebration of it at that moment in time. Mm -hmm. But in actual fact, there's also this self-expression where you know, we're thinking, well, am I next? You know, and mm -hmm. so we do have that individualised response. Mm -hmm. And I think collective responses to death enable us to reflect on our own individualised mm -hmm. destiny mm -hmm. and you know, those potential belief mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. And so I think you know, this erring away from the individual self, mm -hmm. um, I think it's actually not quite the case because I, I do think there is that consciousness. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, in response mm. to your question, I'm going to say, let's be individuals within a collective setting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Brilliant. you very much. Well done.